Hey, I've got uh, Dr. David Sauer with us. He's a spine specialist over at Beacon Orthopedics and Sports Medicine. Hey, Doc, thanks for joining us. I know it's early, okay? It's my pleasure. Uh, heat illness. It's been so hot this summer. Uh, I- I'm assuming we're going to start with hydration. That's pretty critical to every function in the body, isn't it? Absolutely. So, of course, uh, here in the tri-state, we certainly suffer quite a bit of humidity associated with our high temperatures, and it's going to be that combination of the heat and the humidity that uh, correlates with the heat index where uh, we really run into problems. So hydration is going to be important, and uh, of paramount importance is hydration going into any athletic activity or, um, you know, practice, whether that's a practice or a uh, uh, a game. Yeah. And, and we've got right now high school, uh, football practice, college, uh, some really hot activities are going on outside. What, tell me about some red flags like dehydration, heat exhaustion, heat stroke. What's the difference between these? Sure. So they're all just uh, grades of that uh, I'm getting too hot and dehydrated and, and working out too much, especially outside. Of course, uh, the initial phase is going to be dehydration, and you're, you'll notice that you just simply start to get thirsty. You'll start to feel uh, weak and fatigued, uh, may get a little muscle cramps, uh, kind of those things that we generally all feel when we, say, work in the yard yeah. or, or go for a jog. Uh, secondly, heat exhaustion, uh, of course, just a... Um, uh, a progression of that same dehydration, but here uh, certainly you get more of the headache, the nausea, dizziness, um, set, sweating becomes more profuse. You may may feel a little kind of uh, and near syncopal, and then of course you fall into heat stroke if you don't take appropriate measures, get out of the heat, um, get into the shade, uh, start hydrating, and of course heat stroke is when you get into uh, some mental status changes. That's really going to be the the uh, uh, the key. Uh, diagnostic criteria there is that people get uh, quite irritable. They may exhibit some bizarre behavior and uh, or, or just some confusion. Of course, that's when you also yeah. stop sweating and uh, and you get quite hot temperatures up to 104.9. Wow, uh, Doc, what are some of the uh, do's and or don'ts that we should be watching for? Sure. So uh, what you do need to do is, uh, if for the coaches out there, if you can schedule around the hotter times of the of the day, that's great. Uh, make sure your athletes are properly hydrated before uh, they go into either a practice or a game. So at least uh, 20 ounces of fluids a couple of hours before they uh, they participate, so their body has a, t- a chance to metabolize it, get it into the the tissues where it needs to be, and then they really ought to be drinking uh, quite a bit throughout the course of the uh, practice or competition. Anywhere from 6 to 12 ounces of liquid every 20 to 30 minutes would be great. Of course, those standard um, water bottles that you buy at your local sporting goods stores, yeah. those are about 20 ounces apiece, maybe 24. So uh, you'll need to bring some backup water supply to, to, uh, to fill those up. And uh, some don'ts that we shouldn't be doing? So don't. Uh, of course, uh, you want to make sure that the players get those water breaks. So holding uh, their water break up because maybe they're not performing to your satisfactions, uh, uh, a don't with respect to the coaches. Um, the military over the years has used salt tablets for dehydration. That's not a good idea generally. Um, it's, it's uncontrolled salt intake and uh, uh, not the way to go. Sports drinks with electrolyte supplementation like Gatorade and others are great. Of course, there's some uh, uh, some commercial um, gummy type um, electrolyte uh, replenishment things you can get at local sporting goods stores, which are helpful as well. Okay, Dr. David Sauer, Spine Specialist, Beacon Orthopedic Sports Medicine. Thanks for being with us this morning. I appreciate all the time. That's my pleasure. Thanks for your time, Steve.